iOS 18.5 RC is out to developer beta testers and in this video I'm going to be telling you all the new features and changes that this new software update has to offer. The update size on my test device came in at exactly 7.67 gigs. The new build number we have on file is 22F75. Alongside this update, Apple also released these other updates that you see on the screen, including some other iPadOS and macOS versions. Among the new things that this update adds, you can see we get a new wallpaper right there. And when you swipe up, it has a cool animation. Finally, with this update, some users in India have the ability to now select 5G standalone with Airtel. In India, if you have Geo, you now have the ability to enable RCS messaging, which is an option that's enabled by your carrier that you can use now. Under screen time settings, parents now receive a notification when the screen time passcode is used on a child's device. This is a A for parents and an A for those that want to bypass screen time. Under the accessibility settings, we have this option that allows you to show banner when back tap is initiated. So if you tap your device back just like this then you are going to see the banner show up and it will tell you back tap has been initiated and it looks pretty good buy with iphone is now available when purchasing content within the apple tv app on a third party device which is good and now adds to the continuity this update fixes an issue where the apple vision pro application would actually load up blank mine had a little bit of a delay but you can see after a couple attempts now it works if i close it and open it it's working pretty good but the delay oh it's killing me if you want to view your apple care and warranty information you can see that this page takes a little bit of time but it has been updated the font is more bold and when you click on a device information you can see the layout has slightly changed in the mail application you can see that when you enable mail categories like this you still have this one that protrudes to show all mail and before it wasn't there it just helps you to be able to see all mail and not miss your emails finally with this update it adds support for carrier provided satellite features that are available on all models of the iphone 13. there's five new games coming to the iphone among other apple devices and you can see them right there and some of them include uno and you can see we have a new version of the logo hill climbing adventure which is pretty good and this is a list of all the games that are coming on june 5th if you're experiencing connectivity issues when it comes to carplay i'll be happy to let you know that this update resolves the majority of connectivity issues reported by different users this update should be coming out officially on may 12th not forgetting that ios 16 is actually coming out on june 9th i'll be covering it here so definitely follow to stay updated